Despite not being indicted by a grand jury or charged with a crime in the shooting of Michael Brown, tonight Darren Wilson is still living a life in hiding, something his lawyers say has now gone on for months. CNN has learned it began just days after the shooting in August when Officer Wilson was mowing his lawn. He got a call telling him his home address was circulating online. Within three hours, he was packed and gone. He had to leave the grass literally half mowed, and he had to go into hiding because there are death threats out against him. There are bounties that have been placed upon his life. Since that day in August, Wilson has moved from house to house, even staying for a short time with one of his lawyers. He says he's changed his appearance, growing a beard at one point. When he goes out, his lawyers say, he often goes to movies, which offers time cloaked in darkness. In an interview with ABC's George Stephanopoulos, Wilson talked about his precautions. You know, from where you sit in a restaurant to, you know, where you drive, everything, everything has to run through your head. It's all the time you're watching, make sure no one's following you, everything. You know, you hear or see someone look at you, then lean over and tell someone a secret, and then they, that second person looks at you, you're like, do they know who I am? In recent days, the New York Times published Wilson's home address online likely inadvertently, as part of his marriage license, though he's not believed to have lived at that home in months. His lawyers say immediately after the shooting, Wilson wanted to return to his job as a police officer. One of his own attorneys told him if he did, he could be executed in a blind alley. It's not a great leap to think that if Officer Wilson were to start patrolling the streets of Ferguson again, that somebody sees what shift he's on, makes a call, and pulls him into a bad situation.